Down here on the floor, team number 5172, the Gators here in Detroit. I'm here with Ryan, Kyle, and Max. We're going to check out, check out more about this two-time regional champions from this year. Absolutely phenomenal sheet. So we're going to talk about the gearboxes. Uh, we got the couple different intakes. We're going to see the robot operate here on behind the bumper. So I want to start with here. I noticed something kind of interesting on your gearboxes. You're running a Sim and a Neo, which I think is a little different than I've seen before. So why don't you tell me about that? Well, the Neos are just set on uh, follower mode and up to the Sims because they have to be run by the Spark Maxes and the Spark Maxes do not like basically work well with oh, like different kinds of quarters because yeah, they have issues. So we actually have encoders on our center drive shaft uh, axles and then they take that and basically they just follow the sims. And the gearboxes are completely designed in-house and two speed. We have it low speed about seven, high speed about 13 and a half feet per second. Well, interesting concept on there, and obviously been working out very well since you guys are doing as well as you are. Uh, so let's kind of check in more on some of the actuations of this robot. So I know we have a floor pickup, uh, a very interesting hatch uh, pickup as well too. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so why don't you tell us a bit about that? All right, so our floor pickup there, uh, we've, we've been using that a lot more at Champs here, and it seems to come in handy because we can actually drop the hatches through the feeder station, and it helps us with our cycle times immensely. So here, I'll, I'll show you, I'll demonstrate it here. So it's very quick and it's fully automated. All I have to do is press one trigger and it flips down, picks it up, brings it up, and it grabs it automatically. And then after that, it's as simple as pressing a preset button, and it'll extend out and get it to the right height where we're ready, we're ready to place. Let's wrap up here. Uh, we spin the robot around. We'll check out the cargo intake uh, on this. Once again, uh, 5172, by the way, if you guys haven't heard the Gators before, they're out of a very small town up in upper Minnesota. So it's, it's amazing to see that powerhouse teams can really come from anywhere uh, out here. So, Kyle, why don't you take it away and tell us a little bit more about the cargo intake? Yeah, so with our cargo intake, we have uh, Omni Mechanum wheel setup combo. So on our two outside mechanisms, we have, those are custom made out of steel. We bought aluminum ones, but they would bend. So we custom made our own mechanism wheels to prevent, um, to prevent breakage during the match. So now we picked it up and then we just hit a simple preset for all the different angles that we were gonna need and heights. Well, 5172, as we mentioned, looking awesome. What a phenomenal machine. Guys, thanks for taking time to tell us a little bit more of your robot, and good luck here in Detroit.